Hi everyone, this is Mr. Nook. Today I will show you one website using which you can create uh, embedded QR codes in images. So this uses Stable Diffusion and Control Net. Normally you will have to run this in your desktop system locally, but uh, using this uh, you can run this project online. So you have to come to this link and you have to first need to put in the URL that you want to put as uh, QR code. So this is the URL. If you have a QR code, you can put it there and you have to put in the prompt. So I'm going to say a waterfall in a thick forest. So this is the negative prompt. This is the prompt. So this is the control and conditioning scale. This is the strength guidance. So you can set it around these values. Now I'm going to set around 0.95 for strength. Uh, controller's conditioning scale, I'm going to put 1.3, 1 1.4 or 1.5, I'll give it. You have to adjust these values so that you get the best results. So I'm going to say run. So when I say run, now you see it's processing. So here what they mention here is the strength parameter defines how much noise is added to your QR code and the noisy QR code is then guided towards both your prompt and the QR code via that uh, control net. So use a high strength value between 0.8 and 0.95 and choose a conditioning scale between 0.6 and 2.0. So this mode arguably achieves aesthetically most pleasing QR codes. So if you see this is the waterfall. You see the QR code also. Now if I scan this, uh, it will work. So let me scan this. So while scanning this, what you need to notice is that you don't need to come very close. It's better to keep it away and scan. So that way it will be easier to scan. So it just, it just got scanned. I was able to scan that. Now from here you can uh, change the strength of it. Now if I change this to 1, uh, then uh, it will uh, focus more on that prompt. So let me see. So now you see the queue is 2. It is taking some more time for it to run. But here now I have increased the strength of the image, base image. So you will be able to see that uh, waterfall in a thick forest more clearly. And the QR code will be less visible. That is what they have mentioned here. So everything works on a model. So this is the model that is behind it. So if you go here, you can see that model, how this is getting used. You can also see the uh, Python code here, which has been uh, used here. So the same thing is getting uh, used in that project there, which we run from online environment. Now if you see, this is still running. And once you run it, you will see the results. This way, you will be able to create uh, QR codes that is embedded within an image. So this way, you can generate those QR codes. Otherwise, you will have to download um, that uh, packages and run in your system. So now again, you see, now the same thing is much more uh, clearer. You see these gaps. This gaps is where uh, they put in uh, the QR code in the waterfall. So now let me scan this also. This should also work. Yeah, this works. I hope this information is useful. Thank you very much. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.